What up, El Tripo here. Today we're gonna learn how to uh, hook up a sub in your car. For cheap. All right, well here's the amp. It's a uh, bazooka something. I think it's like a uh, 200 watts, 400 watts, something like that. Anyway, here's the deal. You got your power here, you got your ground, it goes straight to the uh, body or the chassis or anywhere that the uh, negative terminal of your battery is going to hook up. You got your plus 12 and that just goes directly to the battery on the positive terminal. Um, and then you got your remote and that's what uh, and that goes to your receiver and that's what tells the, uh, tells the sub to turn on. All right, so I got my, uh, let me show you my plus wire. There it is. There's my little uh, end there. Hooks right onto that bolt. I got like a, I don't know, 40 amp fuse in there. Tried to wire it as gracefully as possible. Back around there, underneath the, uh, Old AC support up through the firewall there. Keep it nice and tight so it doesn't uh, catch on anything. Then I ran it inside through the firewall. That's it, just there underneath the mat. And I'm going to put the amp under the passenger seat. Alright, and then here I got my ground wire, which goes under the seat, under the sub. And then just hooks right onto the body there, scrapes it up a little bit, you know, just get all the paint out of there so it uh, makes a good contact. Then, the remote wire, that middle one. That one doesn't have to be quite as, uh, quite as thick, it's not handling that much power, it's just a, uh, really just a switch. So this is going back under the mat, under the, uh, the dash. And uh, let me get on the other side then. All right, here we are, extreme close up. This is that re same remote wire that I showed you that's uh, over there. Now we've got two fuses coming out the back of the uh, of the receiver, and they usually usually have these little tube ones with the buses on the inside. And um, the red one. I don't know if you can't really see the red wire, but that's it right there. There it is. That one goes to the, uh, you know, goes to the, the fuse box and powers the receiver. This one will usually be if you if you got a receiver hooked up, but no subs yet. This one will probably just be dangling, tucked away, nothing on the end of the wire, and that's the one you want for the sub. So, where is it? There it is. Had a bunch of extra wire and feel like cutting it, so that's why it's pretty long. But there is the end of the uh, the remote uh, wire from the receiver, and then there's my wire that goes to the sub. Just twist that on there. Good enough. Or solder if you feel like being a champion. And uh, there's that. All right, back here now. Of course, check your fuses. All that kind of shit, just so, uh, last thing you want to do is install all this shit and wonder why it's not working. I wanted to find it's not a fuse. So, here's my, these are going to go straight to my speakers there. Now, I got two, so I'm just going to do front left, front right. Not worry about these, because they're not, uh, you know, not going to be used. This is uh, this is an amp can power um, regular stereo speakers and subs or whatever it can you know be an amp for all that kind of stuff. But I'm using it just for subs. There's a switch. Yeah, that's the one there. You know, if I was using it for to power the speakers, I'd go flat. I don't know tweeters or some shit. I'd go high. But there it is, just low. Now, like I said, it's got the front and rear. Front is on this side. 
rears on that side, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm doing sub, so I'm going to put it on low. Got my crossover going to, shit, I don't know, down to 100 hertz because I don't need it that, that deep. And uh, base level, here's my inputs. Just going straight out the back of my receiver. It's got an RCA out. Just got a, you know, 10, 12 foot RCA cord out the receiver into here. Just leave those plugged up. All right. Got my RCA in. Got my speakers. Uh, what was it? Positive remote ground. Now, of course, my uh, plus wire is still disconnected. As it should be, motherfucker. Last thing you want is a live wire jumping around when you're fucking around doing all this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up. Last video. Well, if you did see my last video, you'd know that uh, this fucking speaker, the sub boxes didn't fit. But anyway, it actually turned out pretty decent. You know, for six bucks. Relocated my other speakers, put them up top here, which is a little nicer. And uh, they're twins, one on either side. Let's hear some tunes, it's gonna sound like shit on this mic. <laughs> Bobbin. Alright, well, uh, shit, I guess that's it.